Hi guys, uh, what you just saw me doing was uh, cutting up some uh, more box section in the, uh, that I will plan to use for the skylight. But before I cut those to length, I kind of want to check if my measurements are correct in the engine. So not that I make a skylight. Uh, I can show you just above. So I'm in the engine room now and the skylight is going to be above it. But I kind of want to double check if my measurements are uh, are good because it would be typical me to make a skylight that would not fit the engine and then the whole point of it is a bit useless so after some measuring of the engine I now end up that the external size of the frame has to be uh, 2 meter 30 by 1 meter 150 uh, 15 centimeters so I just uh, trim those to length those two this one and this one uh, what's left now is that I need to uh, like you can still see it's like this shape and I need to cut off this angle right here because I don't really need that um. I don't say it often but geez I like plasma cutters look at the kinds of a cut that is myself today new piece of charm <laughs> So I hope you can hear me with this horrible music in the background and it's in Danish so I don't even know what this is about. <laughs> I'm uh, gonna finish the last few seams here and then I welded the entire skylight from the inside and then maybe tomorrow morning I can do the outside. But um, yeah, I think I've done enough for today. Let's get that over. <laughs> So what I want to work on tonight, or just make a start on, is that I want to make some uh, some clamps that can hold down the chimney because right now it's it's welded in place. Uh, and I had a bunch of these scrap pieces they were given to me from some neighbors. And my idea was that this will get welded like that, and this will go on top. So this will get welded to the chimney, so the chimney goes up like this, and he down here is the roof. And then I'll be able to bolt it through here and this gets welded to the deck so I can insert a bolt from the top and the bottom and bolt it down.
Santa should be able to fit in there during Christmas, right? Last year when I was doing some welding on the inside of this tube, I actually got stuck in it because I had a, a big overall on and I couldn't move my shoulders. <laughs> so yeah, there was about 20 minutes of wrestling to get back down again out this hole. <laughs> that is a beautiful morning. Let's see if I can do some welding. Wow, so that's quite something. Just after uh, I started to clean this side, I realized there was a bird poop here. So does that actually mean that the birds now think this is a boat for <laughs> once? That's quite an official moment that even the animals think it's starting to look like a boat again. <laughs> actually, I screwed up a bit when I was cutting these pieces to length. Because in the front it's uh, 115, in the back it's 113. I think I... Uh, wasn't really paying attention, so I've been uh, filling it up with uh, some small pieces of round bar and then welded in. Uh, and I just dropped that on the floor. But on this side, uh, I just welded it in uh, for both sides. So, and the outside looked quite ugly because it started to drip a bit, but I will grind it back to a nice round corner. Yeah. Finish welding all the way around, another 7 meters, or uh, almost 40 meters in total, <laughs> welding just the in inside and outside. But now that it's done, well first I'm gonna have some lunch, but after that I will start making one of the, the frames that clamps on top. And I maybe start laying out the silhouette for the, for the skylight that I want to make. So I just had a, a visit from Greg, Gregory Cotton, uh, from Minnesota in, in the USA. Yeah, him and his wife were uh, on, uh, on holiday in, in Copenhagen. And apparently Greg has been helping Doug a lot at SV Seeker with uh, building the boat, that he, uh, the big sailing boat he's working on. So I already had one of the, the hoodies from SV Seeker because uh, I really like the project. It's one of my favorite YouTube channels. Uh, but now Greg got me a present because now actually I have a proper hat from SV Seeker as well. So I'm pretty happy right now. <laughs> so thanks again Greg. It was great to have you over and um, yeah, I hope you have a nice cruise in Norway. <laughs>
first frame is uh, is tag welded in place in this angle iron and I've made sure to put uh, some small shims in, in between when I've been tag welding it so there's a, a six millimeter gap between uh, all sides and hopefully they should allow me <laughs> once I take it off I want to put it back that it will be not too bad to align it again uh, so I think I will finish well now first I will put a stiffener through the middle so they won't flare out and then I will start to make some templates for uh, for the skylight yeah thanks again for watching to this video I hope you enjoyed it I'm uh, quite pleased with all the comments I get on the videos it's really good motivation so I'm definitely gonna keep on doing this and uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video.